Hey guys, it's Kaylee. I am back with another what sold from last week video. Hope you guys will stay tuned. I'm going to share with you my sales numbers from last week, a breakdown on which platforms I sold the most on, and then share some highlighted sales with you of some things that are selling for me that you might be able to find in your local area and flip online for profit. If you're new here, hi, my name is Kaylee. I'm an online reseller. I find used clothing at thrift stores and I flip them online for a profit. My channel is about teaching other people to resell and make money online. All the links that I mentioned in the video are down below in the description. You can click on the link tree down below and it will pop up my eBay and Poshmark closet if you're interested in viewing. Drop a comment down below if you have any questions or you just want to say hi. You can also send me a message over on Instagram. If you like this reseller content, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you get notified when I make new videos. Let's jump into today's video. So sales that I will be talking about in this video happen between August 23rd through August 29th. That is a Sunday through a Saturday and that is how I calculate my weeks. In total, I sold 56 items across three different platforms eBay, Poshmark, and down here are two items I sold on Depop. My gross sales for last week, gross meaning before any cost of goods is taking, taken out, any fees, anything of the like, shipping, it's all not taken out of this number and I just have to be clear about that because I don't want anyone thinking that after all is said and done, I make $1,400, I still have costs associated with that. So my gross sales were $1,433.44. My average sale price was super low this week. It was $25.60. And my total cost of goods for everything that I sold last week was $204.38. On eBay, I sold 31 items. And on Poshmark, I sold 23. My gross sales on eBay was $8.44. And my gross sales on Poshmark was $5.03. On Depop, I sold two items for a total gross sales of $86, and then my average sale price on there was actually $43.20 on Depop, which was a nice surprise this week. I'm going to jump on and show you some highlighted sales. Starting on eBay, I sold these, I don't know if it's pronounced Jordic or Jordash, um, but these were a pair of vintage pair of those jeans. I remember seeing these growing up. Um, they were pretty popular in the 90s, although I don't know when the brand actually started. In general, I wouldn't say that this is a brand I seek after, but the reason I ended up looking into these jeans at the thrift store were because these ones had the horse embroidered on the back, and whenever something vintage has a uh, basically a lot of branding on the outside, a lot of spell out detail or their logo is on the article of clothing. I'll typically look that up because more times than not, they are worth more money than any other piece in their line. And the same is true for modern pieces as well. So these ones have the horse logo both on the side pocket in the front and on the back and then on the back it also had that spell out. Now as you can see these are very high-waisted jeans more of a relaxed fit straight so not necessarily a very popular style today but the high waist uh, really sold me on it. So what I did is when I did my comps I went onto eBay and I searched uh, Jordache, Jordake, uh, vintage horse jeans and that way I could pop up very similar jeans and I realized that the ones with the horses were selling for really good money compared to any other jeans. The other ones are probably selling for like 10 bucks but if they've got that horse logo on them they're selling anywhere from 50 to I would say 100. So I picked these ones up. They were actually in really, really great shape. I actually had these listed higher and the buyer did not go through the checkout process properly and asked me to cancel and start over and then just put it at the price they were expecting to pay so they could buy them outright, which is what I did. So I ended up canceling their order under the reason buyer wants to cancel. And then I just relisted with the price that they wanted out of the offer. 
So these ended up selling for $70. Originally, I think I had them priced around $85 and I did include free shipping on this. So all in all, still a really, really great return on investment. And these actually ended up going to the United Kingdom. So for unique items like this, sometimes you're limiting yourself on the amount of brands that you can sell in vintage clothing or even modern clothing as well because you don't offer to international buyers because in some countries, certain vintage brands are worth a lot more and are more sought after. I currently use the global shipping program, which is something that I have used for a while, but I've also added their new international shipping program, which is the standard international, where everyone based on weight gets a flat rate fee of how much an item will cost them to ship internationally. And for a lot of buyers, this is actually saving them money compared to the global shipping program. So I've got the global shipping program available and then secondary international shipping option. I go through the standard eBay international. If you want a video on that, let me know because I can explain a little better and show you how to turn that on. Let's move on to this Calvin Klein jacket because that was quite a bit about those jeans. So next is a Calvin Klein women's packable quilted down puffer jacket. And this jacket has all the features that you would want to pick up in a jacket. It's a decent brand that people know about. It's packable, meaning it's very lightweight and you can actually fold it and smush it down to a folded packable transportable item. A lot of people like these for hiking and for being at the airport. It is stuffed with duck down feathers and it's a puffer style jacket. All wonderful things to pick up in a jacket and during the fall and winter season I am always looking for packable down jackets and not only packable I also look for more heavier duty down puffer jackets. I only want to be on the lookout for these. I've come across them so often now that by the touch I can usually tell if they are filled with down or not, but I will still go into the material tag on the inside and see if it is filled with duck down or sometimes it'll say duvet, D-U-V-E-T. So something to look out for this season, but they always bring me really good money. I usually at least get 40 bucks for them, depending on the brand and the style, sometimes even over two to $300. I've sold some of these jackets depending on the brand and the style, and I've also sold some really interesting vintage ones. Something you wanna look out for on these is you wanna take a really close look and see if there are any feathers poking out. You can kind of tell here at some of the rib cages that you can kind of peek through and see the feathers. Seeing a little bit peek out is normal for down jackets, but if some are coming out and there's a laceration or a hole in the outer material that's allowing the feathers to come out, that is no good and I never pick those up. But if you do see a little bit peeking out just through the seams, that is normal, so don't let that scare you from buying one. I always put in my descriptions, uh, feathers may be showing through as is normal for this type of material or as is normal for down. I find that if I don't put that in my description, sometimes I'll have buyers trying to return the item because maybe they've never had a down jacket before, but if I put that in there, I feel like I'm covered both for the buyer and through eBay. So this one I have listed for $50 and it sold on a best offer for $40. Probably could have held out and got $50, but uh, we are still in warmer weather, so I'm willing to let some things go. Next is this BCBG Max Azria women's dress. Now, I definitely do not seek out this brand, but I have had good luck with some of their pieces. Um, if you're not familiar with this brand, they actually do retail for quite a bit, but their resale value is not always very high. I picked up this one because I know that the bandage style dresses are really popular and this reminded me of a bandage style dress. A bandage style dress is one that basically looks like you're wrapped up, but the bandage ones are really stretchy and form fit across your body. This one is not a bandage dress. This one was actually made of a silky like material um, and I was actually able to look up the style name. 
because it was new with tags and some of that information was on there and it was just called the woven metallic dress but I picked it up because it looked like the bandage dresses so if you come across BCBG Max Azuria bandage dresses they definitely go quickly and usually about the $50 mark even pre-owned sometimes but I picked this one up because it looked like it and it did not fail me. The bandage looking dresses even do well. And I think because this was new with tags and had that really nice metallic sheen that it helped to sell it. I had this listed for $49.99 and it did sell pretty quickly. I think uh, a little over a month um, at full price. So I was really happy with that sale. Sometimes it's about learning the less desirable brands but finding what the more most desirable pieces within that brand are because those are the kind of things that people are passing up at the thrift store because they don't think that they're worth anything but if you have that knowledge you can scoop up the one-offs that everyone's leaving behind. Next are these Zara paper bag chambray jeans. I picked these up because this material sh chambray chambray is a lightweight denim looking material and people really love this in dresses, shirts, pants. Um, this was really on trend with the paper bag waist. This style is popular in both shorts, pants, and skirts, so something to keep an eye out for. Plus it was Zara, which is a pretty well-known brand. Had this listed for $29.99 with free shipping. It did go first class, so it only cost me a few bucks to ship. It did sell at full price. Next is a tried and true item. These are the Beta brand work pants. Um, they claim to feel like yoga pants, but they look like work pants and a lot of people like them for that reason. They're super comfortable. I know a bunch of people who buy multiple pairs of these in different colors. They usually sell pre-owned for 30 to 40 and then new 40 to 50 so definitely worth picking up i picked these ones up probably for five bucks and they sold relatively quickly at 35 dollars if you're not familiar with the brand this is what it looks like sometimes you'll see that interesting b um, back to back with another b that looks like that and it almost looks like if you look at the button here it almost looks like a butterfly so sometimes I find that butterfly looking symbol but I don't see the brand name and that always tells me that it's beta brand so something to look out for but this is an excellent brand to look out for not just in the trousers but other items as well next is a brand that I just learned about it is called Zine and I picked this one up because it was a cropped long sleeve top with, with tie-dye print which is really in right now and to my surprise this brand was doing pretty well in the style so something to keep an eye out for it's the first and only time I've come across it but I thought that I would mention it as it was new to me I had this listed for $32.99 and I sent out offers to watchers for $29.69 and someone accepted. This kind of goes back to what I was talking about with that BCBG dress where sometimes you have to know what the less desirable brands are with the more desirable items in that brand and this was in that category. This is by Divided which is a brand sold at H&M. I think it's actually, it might be one of their house lines, I think it's by H&M. But I came across this kind of satin bomber jacket with these tiger embroideries and I listed it pretty high compared to H&M items. I have been sitting on this for a little bit, but it didn't end up selling at full, my full asking price for $29.99. So again, something to look out for. Just make sure you do very specific comps while you're at the thrift store to find out if that style sells. Next is this vintage dress by a brand called Gillian. For vintage this time, I don't think this brand is important, but I picked it up because it was 100% silk and I thought it was a more modern looking dress that somebody could modernize today with accessories. This sold pretty quickly and I had it listed at $29.99. I sent out offers to watchers for $26.99 and someone accepted. Vintage button up dresses have been doing really well for me. Next is another silk item. This this is by Lauren Ralph Lauren. I talk about this brand often on my channel. This is a bread and butter for me and when they come in 
luxurious materials like silk i almost always pick them up even if they're an older looking style which i do think that this was it was brown it was paisley but because it was tiered and made out of silk i knew it would sell had this listed at 29.99 and it sold on an offer that i sent out for 26.99 this is a pair of American Eagle shorts. I talk about this a lot. I usually sell them for $24.99 with free shipping. Sometimes I will have the buyer pay shipping if the shorts are a little bit more dressed up, like maybe they have embroidery or some more distressing or they're high-waisted or if they're a plus size. But these ones were just kind of your run-of-the-mill cutoff shorts. And so these ones did sell at full price, $24.99 with free shipping. This next brand is a brand I pick up in shoes almost every time I see it. The brand is Nayot, N-A-O-T, and they make comfort shoes and they're tried and true for me. I always have really good luck with them. These are a Mary Jean style. The person wearing these, I would imagine, is wearing them to work because they want something to look a little bit classy, but they also want that comfort if they're walking around all day. When I was in management, I was constantly looking for shoe brands like this one. This one I have listed for $39.99 and it sold on a best offer of $35.99. Real quickly, since it just caught my eye, make sure that if you have Velcro on any of your items that you put the words hook and loop because Velcro is on the Vero list and you're not allowed to use the word Velcro. It'll actually get your listing taken down and that was not something that I knew uh, when I started selling and even still sometimes I forget it and it's really annoying to try and get that listing back. You have to call eBay. So make sure to put hook and loop if you've got Velcro on any of your items. Next item is a pair of jeans from Cut From The Cloth. Again, not a brand that I constantly pick up. I always look up the style on the inside. These were the Catherine Boyfriend, which in larger sizes like size 12 and up, I feel like do pretty well. These ones I picked up mainly because of the patch detail. I think that this is going to be really in this fall and winter. I've been watching a few videos about some upcoming styles and this is mentioned quite a bit so I keep my eye out for that. Had these listed at $35.40 and they sold at $31.86. Next is a sweatshirt by Spiritual Gangster. Definitely a brand that I pick up often. Here is the tag. This one was a tie-dye sweatshirt that said Radiate Positive Vibes. This one had a lot of attention and sold very quickly. Had this listed at $34.99. I sent out offers to watchers for $31.49 and it sold. This is an American Eagle Bohemian top. I don't pick up everything American Eagle, but lately this summer, if it was um, a more bohemian looking style like this one was, I was picking it up. I had this listed at $27.99 and it actually sold at full price, which is a lot for an American Eagle top. Last item on eBay I wanted to show you were these pair of Miss Me jeans. These ones I picked up because I liked the unique wing style on the back and when I did comps this wing bling was doing very well with the blinged out flat pockets here. These ones I had listed at $39.99 and they did sell at full price. I know that some people are getting more for Miss Me jeans, but for me, that's about the price I list them for depending on their style to get them to flip quickly. Moving on to Poshmark, I sold the Sigrid Olsen Salmon Colored Linen Sleeveless Dress. This brand seemed to be doing okay on eBay depending on the style. I actually took a chance on this one because the sell-through rate wasn't amazing, but I thought that the style was really on trend because it looked very minimalist. And I sold this one very quickly for $35. So I always look up linen pieces anyways, but I'm going to keep an eye out for this brand, Sigrid Olsen. These are a pair of Clark shoes. These are a men's pair and these are a chukka boot. So this style was really popular last year. I'd imagine they'll probably be popular this year. And again, some maybe not so desirable brands that don't sell for a lot, but in certain styles can do well. And I think that this is the case for these pair of Clark's boots, which sold for $38. Here is another down item. So this is packed with duck down feathers. This is a J. Crew Expedition down vest. It said that on the inside of the 
vest and this one sold for $30 which is pretty good for a vest. This is a Torrid top. I've been having really good luck with this brand so if you're not familiar with it make sure you do get familiar with it and they have vanity sizing so when you see three you want to look up the size chart for this item because it's actually a 3x come across a lot of these skull print tops which have been doing well for me this one sold quickly at $25 next is this Nike athletic department women's rain jacket I still pick up a lot of Nike pieces if they've got something interesting going on this was a size large it had pockets it had the Nike logo and it had a little bit of some kind of animal print on here it looks like snake skin this is a bread and butter kind of piece for me. I know that the market has a lot of Nike, but just about as much Nike that is getting listed is also the amount that's being sold. So I feel like items are constantly rotating and people are seeing them. This one sold for $24. Next is this Chaser top. This is a burnout tee and it, Chaser is really well known for their graphic tops. Here is the logo. I don't pick up everything by this brand. I usually look up the graphic. This one was doing decently well. I had it listed at 25 and accepted an offer of 20. This is a Lucky Brand ivory embroidered boho top. I don't pick up everything from Lucky Brand. It's got to be really modern for me to pick it up. Here is the brand label. I think that's a much older label. But for me, the ivory bohemian tops and a lot of brands have been doing well. So that's the reason I picked this up. This one sold for $24. This is a jacket by Toby, which I believe is a brand that is sold at Nordstrom. I come across this brand a lot, but I hardly ever pick up the pieces. But when I touched this jacket, it felt really expensive. And this is a faux suede anorak jacket. And it is in a taupe color, which is one of the main reasons that I picked this up because it's a very, very desirable color right now. I had this listed for $35 and someone went back and forth with me and we settled at $29. Last item I wanted to show you on Poshmark was this Madewell Puff Sleeve Scoop Neck Knit Top. This was actually new with tags and to be honest, I thought it would sell for a lot more. And so I thought I knew what I was doing at the thrift store and I picked it up without doing comps. But when I got home, I actually looked up this specific style and they were only going for $20, $25 even new. So for that reason, I listed mine at about the same and I didn't have any money lost. I still made a decent profit off of it, but it just goes to show that Madewell is really going down as far as resale value goes even new with tags so you really want to pay attention to the specific styles of these items and don't just assume because it's a madewell sweater that it's worth picking up and lastly i wanted to show you the two items that sold for me on depop this is a mondo DiMarco brands not important to me vintage sweater i picked this up because it had that western look but it also had these uh, multicolor rainbow details throughout which I thought were really really interesting. I have been sitting on this since last season but I picked it up towards the end of last season and I just knew it was so unique that it would eventually sell. This item ended up selling for $40 on Depop so if you're not already on Depop and you have some interesting vintage items it is worth going on to that site. And last item I wanted to show you, another one that sold on Depop was this vintage Paul Bunyan show crew neck pullover sweatshirt. Um, last season, vintage crew neck sweatshirts did really, really well for me. So I always just kind of looked for an interesting graphic and I thought that this one was really interesting and I really like the color details of it. This one ended up selling for $30 and depending on the content, $30 to $35 is usually what I get for the vintage crew neck sweatshirts. Now obviously if there's something really unique and rare in a well-known brand they could end up selling for way more but just something to be on the lookout for if you're not already familiar with vintage crewnecks 
All right, guys, so that is it for today's What Sold video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Drop a comment down below and let me know how your sales are going. What was your best flip last week? Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.